Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel. And today I'm going to show you how to draw this window winter composition in Adobe Illustrator. And if you're interested, please keep watching. Now you see the size of my workspace and these are colors which I'm going to use in my tutorial. And if you want to take a closer look at the design and download an original A file with colors and uh, the design, you can do it on my Patreon page. The link will be below this tutorial. And now let's start the tutorial. Ok guys, my workspace is ready, my colors are ready and now let's take this color and rectangle tool, hold shift and make the square. Ok, our background is ready, now let's take this color and egg and rectangle tool and we need to create rectangle. 1000 to 200. Ok. Move here. Now you need to take free transform tool, that option, and move this corner like that. Ok and make the shape a little wider, like this. Now select the shape and background and shape builder tool. Now hold ALT and delete this part and this one. Now let's take dark blue color and egg and rectangle tool and draw here rectangle like that. And move it a little up. Ok. Now again take this color and rectangle tool and create rectangle 2207 and 938 and put it here and send this shape and background to back. Ok, now let's copy and paste this rectangle, move the copy a little down, make it dark blue color, move like this. Now you need to move this side to artboard and this one. Ok. Now we need to take the color like that shape and rectangle tool and draw here the rectangle like this. Ok. Now hold ALT and make the copy like this. Ok. Now select again this shape and Ctrl D as many times as you need it. And send these two shapes to front. Ok, now let's draw the books. We need, for example, light blue color and rectangle tool and draw the first book. It can be any size as you like and you need to play with books to make them more realistic. I mean you need to do them of different sizes, of different colors. Let's play with books. Make it wider. Let's change the color here and let's change here. Ok. 
So guys, it's pretty easy. Now let's move on. Let's um, move the books down. But at first let's select all these books and make them bigger. Move here. And now I want to make uh, this book a little wider. Now select all books, hold Alt and make the copy move down. Now let's move this book for example here, let's rotate it, put it like that. Now let's again select these books, again copy move them down. Now right click, transform, reflect, vertical. OK. Move like that. Now here let's again select all books, hold out and make the copy move here. And now take this book delete it, take this one, move here and now select only these two books and move them here and move the table to front. Now let's change the size of books you like. You can change the color, you can move them as you like. For example, like this, you can do it like me or you can do it like you want. It's your books. OK. Let's rotate this book and move here, for example. And now I want to add some text, for example, on this book. And uh, let's take text tool and just write book with help of any type as you like. Let's make the size 30 and I take this font and uh, let's be white color, create outlines. Rotate it like that, make it smaller and move here. Now hold out and make some copies. If you like, you can change the font like this. Now let's create the window. I need light blue color and rectangle tool and let's create the rectangle 365 to 500 and 35 okay and move the window here okay i think here because here i want to create a picture now let's take dark blue color for the stroke and here I need 12. Now go to object, expand, OK. Now ungroup. Now select this blue rectangle, object, path, offset path and here 30. OK. Okay, guys, now let's move downside a little up. Let's select the rectangle and move it up. Okay, now I, I need dark blue color and rectangle tool and let's draw here the rectangle. For example, like this. Move here. Now hold out and make the copy make it a little wider or longer like this 
okay now let's move this rectangle a little down and this one a little up and this one a little up I think like this better now select this rectangle dark section tool and hold and drag to round the corners and the same here like that now let's um, take pen tool and create the shape like this here the first anchor point the second the fourth the fourth and let's close the puff and now let's draw here the line like this with the same color and here the same now let's change here fill to stroke and the same here okay now let's take light blue color and egg and pen tool and here i need to create straight line like this and the size will be two okay i like now let's create the buildings uh, i need this color without stroke and rectangle tool and now you need to create rectangle of different sizes different shapes you can make it longer wider shorter well it's your buildings and you can do it you can make them as you like and now let's take this color a little darker and egg and rectangle tool and egg and create some rectangles of different sizes as you like shorter longer wider okay now let's move this shape and this one to front and now let's play with buildings let's take dark selection tool and select the points you like and move them like this it looks more funny more interesting more cartoon so play with the points and now if you like you can take egg and rectangle tool and make shapes like this here and the same play with them with help of dark selection tool and now take this color and do the same here okay i think it's pretty now let's take dark blue color and pen tool and now i want to draw here the branch first anchor point the second i think will be here the third here i need the color in the stroke let's look uh-huh now let's add one more branch here with this look okay and let's add one more branch here and one more here okay now let's select all shapes and go to stroke i need to take this form 
and the size will be 10. Okay, I think uh, here you can do it the size uh, 5. Okay, now let's select this part of the window and bring to front. Let's make it closer. Select this shape and rotate it like this. Select all shapes and go to object, expand. Uh, and now let's go to Pathfinder, unite. Now direct selection tool and you can uh, round some corners, for example this one and maybe this one. I think this one and this one and let it be this one and the last one this one okay I like it let's look okay let's make it bigger and now let's select it copy and paste it and move it up now let's make it white color and send to backward. Ok. Uh, now let's take dark selection tool and move these points like that. Ok. And now let's take dark blue color in the stroke and line tool hold shift and make the straight line okay i need here 12 now take egg and line tool and draw here the straight line like this now move it here now hold odd and make the copy Okay, uh, now let's select all new lines and go to object, expand, OK and take these two lines, copy and paste them, send to backward, make white color, again send to backward and move a little up like this. Now copy and paste this line and send to backward and move a little to the left and this color, this white color. Send this line to front. And now bring this part of the window to front. Ok, let's look. Now let's draw the picture. I need dark blue color in the fill and rectangle tool. Draw here the rectangle. Now object path, offset path and minus 10. Ok. Now let's take this blue color. And now take this one and ellipse tool, hold shift to create the circle. Now let's take uh, for example um, this color and pen tool and maybe this color and draw here the shape like this, it will be like the mountain. Ok. Now copy and paste this side of the picture and select both shapes, Pathfinder, Intersect and let's change the color to this one. And now again pen tool 
but take this dark blue color and pen tool and draw again something like mountains. And again copy and paste this side, bring it to front, select both, both shapes and uh, Pathfinder intersect. Ok, let's make it this color. And if you like, you can take dark selection tool and play with points. For example, make uh, here more longer shape or you can fix the point and move it here. So guys, you can play with points as you like. Now let's take white color and ellipse tool and now let's create the snow. You need to create their circles of different sizes to create more realistic snow view. Now let's take brush tool and white color, double click to brush tool, we need this option here, ok. And let's draw the shape you like, for example like this. And select it and change stroke to fill. And now you can play, for example, with the shape with the help of direct section tool, for example, like this. And now let's move this snowflake a little up. And let's draw here the same with the help of brush to the shape like this. And of course, white color in the fill. Ok, I like it. Uh, now let's take pen tool and for now any color. And the first point here and here the second. Now move here and here. Here point. And let's close the path. Now let's take this point and move it a little up. Ok. Now line gradient, liner gradient. And here I need black color. Here pink color. And here yellow color. And go to Opacity and Screen. Ok. It's pretty cool. You can stay it like that or you can make a transparency 85. Uh, now you need to copy and paste this shape. Take orange color. Go to Window, Transparency, select this shape, make mask, clip, white rectangle, rectangle tool, create the rectangle like that with any color. Now take liner gradient, delete, delete pink one. And here I need white and black gradient. Move the slider, uh, for example, like this. Effect, texture, grain. And I need here these options 55, 26, and this type. Okay. 
And now you can play with grain as you like. Let's take gradient tool, make like this. You can make a little smaller grain or bigger grain as you like it more. I think you can rotate here the gradient as you like. Let's play a little. Okay. I think now is great. Let's return to normal mode. And I have here maybe 70% transparency. And one more step. Let's take dark blue color and ellipse tool. Create here the small ellipse. And now pen tool with this color in the stroke and take make the line here here in the stroke and send these two shapes and background to back and these shapes to shape to front and take this line make it to transform reflect vertical copy move here okay and that's all guys our window winter composition is ready i think it's pretty cool well guys hope you like my tutorial if yes please give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorials bye bye guys Mwah.